Hello everyone. Welcome to our part 1 video tutorial of the mastectomy series presented by The Apprentice. Today, we are focusing on the general anatomy of the female breast. Breast is an evolutionary important organ in mammals. It is situated medially to the anterior axillary line and lateral to the sternal border. Breast overlies second to sixth ribs. Two thirds of it rests on the pectoralis major muscle and one third on the serratus anterior muscle. The lower medial edge of the breast overlaps the upper part of the rectus sheath. Structure of the breast It is made up of 15 to 20 lobules of glandular tissue embedded in fat. The fat accounts for the smooth contour and most of the bulk of the breast. These lobules are separated by fibrous septa running from the subcutaneous tissue to the fascia of the chest wall. These septa are called ligaments of Cooper. Each lobule drains by its lactiferous duct onto the tip of the nipple which is a projection just below the center of the breast and this is surrounded by an area of pigmented skin, the areola. Blood supply to the breast are provided by the axillary artery via its lateral thoracic and acromion thoracic branches and the perforating branches of the internal thoracic arteries through the first to fourth intercostal spaces. The first and the second perforators are the largest of these branches. Blood supply from the intercostal arteries via their lateral perforators are a relatively unimportant source. Venous drainage also follows the same routes. The breast is a modified sweat gland in the superficial fascia of the pectoral region. Sonographically, the breast is divided into three layers located between the skin and the pectoralis major on the anterior of the chest wall. These layers are the subcutaneous layer, the mammary or glandular layer, and the retromammary layer, which is a thin layer of fatty tissue with Cooper's ligaments. Lymphatic drainage of the breast follows the pathway of the blood supply. Lymph from the lateral part of the breast drains from the tributaries along the axillary vessels to the axillary lymph nodes. This accounts for approximately 75% of the total lymphatic drainage of the breast. Lymph vessels that pierce the intercostal spaces drain the medial part of the breast to the internal thoracic group of nodes. Few lymph vessels follow the posterior intercostal arteries. Some lymphatic vessels communicate with the lymph vessels of the opposite breast and the lymph vessels of the anterior abdominal wall. These are the internal thoracic group of lymph nodes. These are the anterior axillary lymph nodes, which lies deep to pect major along the lower border of pect minor. The breast is innervated by anterior cutaneous branch of 4th intercostal nerve, anterior cutaneous branch of 6th intercostal nerve, lateral cutaneous branch of 4th intercostal nerve, lateral cutaneous branch of 6th intercostal nerve, subcutaneous branches of suprascapular nerve. The nipple is supplied by the 4th intercostal nerve. These nerves contain both sensory and autonomic fibers. 
Sensory fibers provide tactile input for milk ejection reflex and the autonomic nerve fibers regulate smooth muscle and blood vessel tone. Hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.